الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله <تصفيق> صلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Excellence of sending salutations upon the beloved and blessed Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم When a Muslim conveys 50 times through the park with love and devotion inshaAllah ta'ala on the day of resurrection on the day of accountability the last Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will do musafa, will shake hands with him. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. On call to righteousness on page 202 it is mentioned. The Islam brothers have you seen our pious predecessors? Rahmatullahi ta'ala would not miss any opportunity of conveying the call to righteousness. If anyone sought advice from them, they would bestow upon him madri pearls about the betterment of his afterlife. Indeed, if one always engages himself in the divine remembrance, whether in residence or in a journey, realizing that Allah is watching, as it is stated in the 14th ayah of Surah Al-Alaq, part 30, Alam ya'lam bi anna Allah yara. Did he not know that Allah is watching? Then one will remain very fearful and careful about sins, refraining from disobedience to Allah and His beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam publicly, as well as privately, those having the mistaken idea that they remain unobserved while committing evil deeds secretly should always keep in their mind the evil sins recording angels knows and is recording all the evil and indecent deeds they assume to be secret. If anyone absolutely realizes it, he will feel so ashamed and embarrassed that he will prefer being buried into the ground to remain alive on it. It is stated in the ayah 18th of Surah Kaf, part 26. He does not utter anything, but there is a watcher by him ready to record it. It is stated in ayah 10, 11, and 12 of Surah Al Infitar, part 20. And indeed, there are some guardians over you, the respectable writers, they know all what you may do. Commentating on the above ayah, a renowned commentator, a great thinker of Ummah, Mufti Ahmad Yarhan Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi, has stated it became obvious that the deeds recording angels know our co covert and overt, meaning i.e. hidden and open deeds, because it is impossible to record them without being aware of them. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal, when the deeds recording angels no other covert deeds, then why the sovereign of all angels and all creatures sallallahu alayhi wasallam will not be aware of the heart's feelings of the devotees. My master Allah Hadrat rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi has expressed his feelings in the court of the greatest Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam in the form of following this couplet. And its translation is, O Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, you see everything, whether above the arsh or below the earth. Nothing in both the worlds is concealed from you. And this is mentioned in Hadaiki Bakshish. So dear Islamic brothers, one who realizes the importance of the world, one who realizes the impermanence of the world, ponder over his death all the time and remain occupied with the recitation of the glorious Quran. Salatul Nabi making zikr, Worshipping Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal will be successful in the worldly life as well as the afterlife. Whether resident or a traveler, everyone should spend his time in making zikr, reciting Salatul Nabi and talking about beautiful and beneficial sunan instead of engaging in useless and indecent conversations. 
accept the Madni pearl, particularly about a journey. The, the revered and renowned Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has stated, one who remains attentive towards Allah azza wa jal and remembers him during the journey, Allah azza wa jal appoints a safeguarding angel for him. And one who indulges in indecent couplets and poetry and useless chat, Allah azza wa jal inflicts a Satan on him. Another couplet here in Hadaiq ibn Bakshish mentions, O oh, the custodian of religion, please take care of your weak devotee. Nafs and Satan are always dominating us. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So my dear Islam brothers, please do prepare yourself to travel with us on the 11th of December, the graduation ceremony at Manchester Victoria Masjid. Uh, coaches will be leaving here on Sunday at 11.30 a.m. So please do join us and invite others to join as well. May Allah reward you immensely. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen Jazallahu anna Muhammadin ma huwa ahlu Allahumma qala Rabbi sharah li sadri wa yasilli amri wa ahlu al-uqdatan min nisani yafqahu qawli قُلْ يَا رَبِّ زِدْنِي عِلْمًا يَا مُقَلِّبَ الْقُلُوبِ ثَبِّتْ قَلْبِي عَلَى دِينِكِ يَا مُقَلِّبَ الْقُلُوبِ ثَبِّتْ قُلُوبَنَا عَلَى دِينِكِ أَلَا بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ تَطْمَئِنُّ الْقُلُوبِ Ya Allah Azzawajal, accept our Salat al-Zuhur, accept this short dars regarding call to righteousness. Ya Allah Azzawajal, give us ability to stop evil with our hands, with our tongues, and to at least feel guilty of the sins that are being committed around us. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, guide our youngsters towards Islam. Ya Allah, protect them, protect their iman, and give them good health and a long, pious life. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, those Islamic brothers and sisters and youngsters who have requested for du'as, for the sake of our Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and for the sake of Karbala, accept all these sincere du'as. Bless our Muslim brothers around the globe who have been oppressed, who are dying in starvation, who have no medication, no shelter. Ya Allah Azzawajal, bless them from your provisions. Ya Allah Azzawajal, give them sabr and protect them from al masih al-Dajjal. Ya Allah Azzawajal, protect them from the fitan of Satan and his tricks, Ya Allah, and give us unity, make us one and strong and excel us in deen and dunya. صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة يما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين